I'm so excited, buddy. I'm so excited. What were you thinking in the face-off, like when you guys were like face to face? Is he a lot bigger than like you've seen? In wow, you know the face-off tell a lot of things about the fight, you know, and I think this amazing fight come. Now, uh, Roy Jones said that if you beat Jake Paul, he would be open to do that that fight with you. He, he told wow. us. Wow, you know, I need to say something. In my opinion, my personal opinion, Roy Jones is the best boxer ever. He's the best. I follow Roy Jones for years, you know? And uh, it's my dream to uh, fight with Roy Jones, you know? And maybe after that, I can I can do this too, you know? I'm, I'm so excited. If you answer, answer. Was it just a rumor, Anderson, all those years ago? supposed to fight Roy what happened you know uh, this fight with Roy is is a very interesting because I talking about that many many years ago with Dana and Lorenzo and the guy say no you can't do that but now everything is possible Anderson what, what do you say to people like in the back and back row that are saying you're a watch a fighter that you're not a real opponent for Jake Paul well Everybody can say everything, yeah. you know, but it's different when you come here, you prepare your body, you prepare your mind, you stay for three, four months training and go to fight, you know, and a lot of people talking about me and Jay, yeah. so, but don't talk, just do your best too, you know. Anderson, Anderson initial, initially a lot of fighters, a lot of fighters didn't take too well to Jake Paul getting into the fight game because he was a YouTuber. Did you ever share that opinion about Jake Paul or have you always respected what he's done? Listen, everybody needs to respect this both kids. Why? Because the kids open the mind and open the door for everybody think about something, you know? And that's the problem. That's the people uh, try to attack these guys because the kids open the door for something new one, you know, and let's go do it. Would do you something. would you say so for the people? Would Anderson. you say you are happy? Are you happy for Jake Paul? Are you happy for him and the uh, success he's attained? Yeah, of course. You know the problem for the people, the human beings is when you there's something close to you, behind you, don't make successful. Oh yeah, yo, know, is it good? It's okay. But when other people make successful, you say, oh, it's terrible people. Why? You know, you need to stay happy when the people make successful. And I'm, of course, I'm happy. Anderson, Anderson, Anderson. 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 Are you risking your reputation if you lose in Jack Paul? Definitely not. Definitely not. I, I, I come here to do my best. I train hard every day and fight to fight. You know, and I, you, have a, you have two fights inside the ring. Two fights have uh, five percent to win. I have five percent. Jake have five percent. It doesn't matter if uh, the people say, "Oh, he's not real fighter or not." But when you go inside the ring, the joke is stop. Anderson, you go to kill, you go to die. That's the point. Oh, Anderson, what's the headline on my? What's the headline what you on the twenty nine? Are you gonna knock out Jake Paul? Um, I don't know, but uh, I promise, I. I go fight very, very, very hard. You go see the different Anderson. Are you gonna get a knockout? Guys, last one. I'm sorry. Maybe. Right well, who's, your, who's your next fight? Anderson, Anderson, right here. I don't know. Oh, what's the headline gonna be on the 30th? On the morning of the 30th when we wake up, what's the headline the morning after the fight? The headline is, you love something, do your best. Thank you, guys. Thank you so much.